Well, the chances are that hole in your heart won't ever truly be filled. You'll have to live your life knowing maybe you're just not good enough, but you can't talk to anyone about it because it would make it all feel real. It would make you weak, and you need to be strong. Well, we can help you. Introducing Protopills. Our revolutionary proto-technology mixes in huge amounts of protein and fiber along with several other chemicals that when mixed together, is sure to get you from this to this. And don't worry about what you've heard. Our new formula is scientifically proven to only cause a 45% chance of addiction and less than 1% chance of causing empathy deficiency disorder or inception of a Wendigo curse. So call this number now to begin your seven day free trial, after which it's only $89.99 a month. You can't get these prices anywhere else. Hello, and welcome to The Griff Show, where I can see how humanity is ruining the media landscape this week, and why I'm glad I'm just a spectre who only exists in digital space. Well, 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 it, after, what, like a full week of not being about, it's time for Tidja Grit Show, uh, I think... This has been a long time coming. Uh, obviously, I'm a day late. It goes without saying. Hello, Flub and Alex. It's good to see you. Jess is also here. She's just not. I can barely hear anything. Cause she can't. Really can't yeah, she's she's playing an uh, epic video games. Uh, as always, I'm going to be in the voice chat. Feel free to jump in. Um, in the Discord. And we're going to talk about some of the news stories from what, like the last two weeks? Did I do a Grith show last week? No, because they were... No, I did, but it was awful. It was the worst Grith show I've ever done. It was terrible. So let's just jump right into it. Did you just laugh at me, Jess? No, I just laughed at myself and my stories. You goofball. Classic. It's like hot fuzz. <laughs> Jess, don't spoil it. Sorry. Just, just trying to spoil the game for me. God trying to view this with data is suffering. Oof, buffering. Sorry, folks. Um, the company who I'm, 
who runs my Wi-Fi, my ISP, uh, is really putting a stranglehold on my Wi-Fi now that uni is over. They're like, ah, we don't need to prioritize you anymore. Every good show is the worst one you've ever done. Thanks, Flub. Have you finally styled your hair like a fuckwad? No. It just sits naturally like this. I actually un... I actually undo it from this style normally because I don't want to look like Lord Fuckwad. Um, anyway, our first story is Doctor Sleep, a sequel to The Shining. Wow. Uh, it's, as I just said, a sequel to The Shining, a sequel to the movie The Shining, not the book, which is interesting because the book of Doctor Sleep was a sequel to the book of The Shining. So I'm not sure exactly how this one's going to work. Uh, natural Farquaad hair. It's, it's, it's a sign. I'm telling you, it's a sign. So I'm not entirely sure how this one's going to work. I believe the story of it is, yeah, follows a grown-up Danny Torrance as he deals with life and death. So, I mean, it's an interesting concept, uh, but I wasn't really sold on it until I found out that it's directed by the same person as The Haunting of Hill House, which was a fantastic TV show on Netflix last year. Um... So I'm actually kind of looking forward to this to this film for those two reasons. That number one, Shining. Number two, um, you know, the thing. Hill House, that's the word. Two brilliant things and I'd love to see them come together. Um, welcome back, by the way. Don't leave us again or unsub. I really, I hate not streaming. I feel really awful every night I can't stream. I genuinely do. Ask Jess. She gets really annoyed. Because I just, when, I when, I, when I'm not streaming, I'm just like, ah, oh, maybe I should just, just do it. But it, I only want to provide, I only want to stream on the days where I know I can provide top quality content. Alright? Uh, and I haven't, number one. Oh no. Number one, I haven't been home to stream. Number two, I would not have been able to provide quality content when I have been home. So anyway, I think this looks great. I mean, you see here, they actually, they've remastered into HD clips from The Shining for this movie. Uh, oh, it's presumably for, uh, presumably for flashbacks. Um, I'm really looking forward to this. Uh, but the, the only way to really tell if it's going to be good or not is to see what Stephen King has to say about it. Uh, if Stephen King says it's great, then it's probably awful. Uh, and if Stephen King says it's terrible, then it's probably going to be good. Because we know how Stephen King works when it comes to his own opinions on his movies. Anyway, thank you for the Pride uh, 100 bits, uh, Flub. It is it is Pride Month, so I suppose it's fitting. Um, over at Universal Studios in Orlando, Hagrid's Motorbike Adventure uh, officially is opened. Uh, in case you don't know, the queues for this ride were well, upwards of 10 hours on opening day. Um, I think this ride looks great, and I'm definitely going to be riding it when I go. I won't linger on this story for too long, because I know no one cares about theme parks as much as me. Um, Toy Story View is out, 4 is out, and I don't want to talk about it too much, because I want to see it at some point. Because uh, being the age that I am, Toy Story is a big part of my childhood. Yeah, King thought Kubrick Shining was bad. What a dumb dumb. Yeah, if you look historically, what do you mean? We love theme parks. But do you love Universal? Do you love Universal, Flub? That's the real question. Normally, people always tell me to stop talking about theme parks, so I try to limit. Uh, anyway, point is. Point is. Stephen, if you look historically, Stephen King has hated good films based on his books and loved bad ones and made bad ones famously i mean the shining brilliant example he hated that despite it being lauded as one of the best films ever made then he tried to make his own uh let me try and find it bale shining had christian bale in it let me guess he loved the cujo film i think he did god damn it Christian Bale Shining. So, no, there was... There was a Christian Bale Shining movie. 
but it's not coming up when I Google it. Fan casting is Christian Bale? No. God damn. I'm pretty sure it's Christian Bale. I'm pretty sure it's Christian Bale. Right. Let me there because Stephen King made his own version of The Shining, and it was awful. It was it was it was so good because it was so awful. There was a scene at the end with giant green lizards. They looked like green versions of the character model for SCP uh, 929 or whatever it's called. Uh, hello, scurvy, mm, scurvy balls, Lamont. Arg rigid as a pl pine plank. I'm There's Darth the Girth right there, man. Hey, we seeing you on the Twitch right hey, now, Hey, what's Darcy? up? How you doing? It's good to see you. Man, you can't see me, but you can hear me, man. I, I was just can. in your lobby, and you didn't say anything. Yes, I'm so sorry. I've got a bit of lag. My oh, it's cool, man. Today. It's cool. You got a bad voice ox, too, man. Some, like, Amazon shit you got. Yeah. You sound like this when you talk. I mean, oh, do I? I make up for a shitty voice, and it's awfully obvious, but that little microphone probably doesn't help. It looks cheap, but... Anyway, what's going on here? Oh, you know you know how B, I'm just... Some of <laughs> what's the, he saying? <laughs> I'm Hello? just recapping some of the, uh, the news stories. You're moving friends. your face away from the mic. I can barely hear you. Try to get... Sorry about that. I keep trying to change the... There you go. The... That's a lot better, man. A lot better. I keep go trying ahead, to change the gain. Nice. No, game um, of what? The, the gain, game, your voice the gain on my microphone. Oh, the gain. Yeah, it's there not you go. the gain. It's more of the reverb and the delay that you got uh, going on there. The oh, I see. Sounds real bad to fiddle like with them because they think that makes them sound like a radio announcer. But I then see. they forget that they can I don't know why he just left. That wasn't me. Sorry, <laughs> I don't know what happened there. Oh, I'm pretty sure you do, you greasy haired motherfucker. Why can't oh, yeah? you grow hair on your upper lip between your fucking nose? What because I think if I don't kiss Hitler, out, dumb fuck. <laughs> oh my don't God. kick me out of your stream. You have nobody watching you, and you want to kick me out, the only guy here. Jesus, I'm trying to give you goddamn what? tips and pointers, man. And yeah. You, you know, it'd be impressive if, I, if this guy. What? Were you me? No, this guy's uh, this guy's getting angry at me. Banned. Flub, is it you? Oh well, someone, someone's, someone's doing something to that guy. Um. Nah, well, I uh, someone, someone's doing something. I'm not sure if that was a bot or what. Yeah. No, don't worry about it. I'll delete it. I'm gonna read it. No, it's it's fine. Don't worry about it. I can't see it. I no, it's fine. I didn't kick him, but I did ban him. Oh, I don't know why he kept getting kicked. Let me let me see what's going on. Oh well, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. One inch. One an entertaining fellow, nevertheless. Uh, I would say go and check out his Twitch, but he seemed quite harsh, so I'm gonna say no to that. Anyway, the point is, Toy Story 4's come out recently. And I'm not going to say too much about it because I want to go and see it at some point. I don't want to risk getting it spoiled for myself. And I don't want to come up with too many, too many theories as to what, what's going on in that. Um, so I won't talk about that one too much. What I will talk about, though, is Harry Potter Wizards Unite, which has come out since the last Grith show. Um, the spiritual successor to Pokemon Go. Uh, were you thinking about that mini series of the shining? Yes, that's the one flub. That's the one, the mini series. What 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 happened to that? Who was in it? I'm pretty sure that was Christian Bale, right? Am I mixing it up with someone? Am I mixing Christian Bale up with someone? It it was someone like that. It was Christian Bale or or something. Let me look it up. Shining miniseries. Fuck, I have to reach around my fucking microphone. The Shining... Probably, I don't think Christian Bale is humble enough to do a miniseries. True. Who am I thinking of? Um, da -da -da -da. Shining miniseries. Let's take a look. Because this is the one that Stephen King... Liked. He wrote it. Yeah, he wrote the script for this one. Well, the screenplay at the very least. Um, who is in it? Who is in it? Cast. Steven Weber? What? I don't know. I don't know where I was getting Christian Bale from. Maybe I watched it and I was like, I'm pretty sure that's Christian Bale. But it wasn't Christian Bale. 
was I thinking? Someone's DMing me. Uh, Stephen Webber. Oh, Jesus. That does not look like Christian Bale. Maybe I'm just going crazy. Maybe that's what it is. Uh, anyway, Harry Potter Wizards in United Town. Hello, Tom. You just missed a random guy who I'm sure was streaming at the time coming in and verbally abusing me for the second time? Why was it that guy? He sounded like the same guy. If it's not the same guy, then... Uh, yeah, he was in my chat. He also came in a Discord. Let me see if I can go to his channel just real quick. Off screen, off screen. Um, see what... Ah, fuck. Oh, okay. What a fucking long-ass username. Oh, apparently his Twitch doesn't exist. Was he the same guy who came in and was like, how do you have more followers than me? And I was like, maybe it's because I, uh, <laughs> I don't okay. fucking verbally abuse people. Hey, Flub, what's going on? Yeah, it was the same guy from before. Not was it? Away, came back for seconds. It yeah, I'm really on his... That entertaining last time. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. Maybe he just does his stream on the same day I do mine. Yeah, maybe. Anyway. I, I, I would have joined earlier, but I had a bout of the hiccups. So oh I no. Wanna, I didn't want to interfere with your stream by uh, hiccuping all over it. That's fine. Hello, Tom. Welcome to the chat. Hope you enjoy the show. Um, Welcome, Flub. Yeah, that guy's got me all shaken up now. I didn't think he'd come back. <laughs> I thought he would at least yeah, have learned some, some manners, you know? Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. he, he was just trying to learn shit. Oh, yeah, obviously. You've got no reason to feel uh, insecurities about your voice at all. Oh, you know? You've got that, you've got that uh, BBC voice. BBC voice. I BBC could do a radio stuff. show. <laughs> yeah, you could. You're doing a radio show right now. I am, it's and true. You've got, like, uh, you've got more than twice the amount of views he has. So. I do. I do. I wonder why. Voices and everything. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, whew. D is it just me or did his microphone quality get worse since last time? Cause he's know, worse. Anyway, it's best to move on. Anyway, Harry Potter Wizards Unite's been released. <clears throat> Do you know about this one, Flop? Yep. I heard about last time we did the Griff show, I think. And I See, also tried to download it, but I don't think it's on the Play Store. It is. It is. I've got it on my Android yeah. phone. Yeah. What's, what phone That's have you point. got? I've got a Sony Xperia XA. I don't. I don't know. I don't. I don't uh, here I am asking what model of phone you've got. I actually don't know what phones are supported. Um, I, I I think I have very conflicting feelings about this because I have when when Pokemon Go first came out, I played it nonstop for weeks. All right, and mm -hmm. part of that was because it's a fun game, and part of it was because it's you know of the hype that was around it at the time when it came out. Yeah. I'm sure everyone remembers. Yeah, definitely. There's never been anything like that. No, absolutely. Um, but for this app, there has not been that same level of hype. And I'm not sure if the reason that I haven't played as much of Harry Potter is because of that lessened level of hype. Or if it's because it's a worse game. Because I feel like technically it's an improvement on almost every level from Pokemon. It's a lot more skill based. Um, there's a lot more activities to do. There's a lot more variety um, in what you can actually do minute to minute gameplay wise. Mm -hmm. But I, I have, I think I've put about an hour and a half of time into the game. I'm level eight, um, so I, I don't know. I don't know what's what's got me not into it. What level am I on Pokemon Go? I think I'm like level 30 on Pokemon Go. Hmm. So I don't know what's going on. Maybe you're just too old to uh, go outside. Maybe it is. Joints are aching. It could be. Maybe, well, that could be another thing. Because when Pokemon Go first came out, it was so popular that I could go to my friends and be like, you want to go out and play Pokemon Go? And they'd be like, yes, let's do that. But... Yeah. With this one, it's like, do you want to go out and play Harry Potter Wizards Unite? And it's like, eh. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's kind of like a sloppy seconds experience for everyone that played Pokemon Go, so. Yeah, yeah, precisely. Kind of dampened slightly. 
I, I mean, I, I think there's be like the features are obviously different, right? Yeah, it plays very differently. Yeah, so um, I mean, it's, it's you, just you, a case of people not giving it a chance and just thinking, hmm, Pokemon Go 2, no thanks. Yeah, the more I've played it, the more I sort of see the similarities, like what they've taken for Pokemon Go. Like, you can see, yeah. uh, there's a system in it where you, because the main thing you have to do in it is to catch things called Founder Balls, which obviously you can relate that to Pokemon Go. Um, but uh, the thing that I caught on to recently is that they kept the random three jiggles thing from pokemon go and obviously all pokemon games but specifically pokemon go um they they kept that except they replaced it with a different animation which tries to be more subtle but once you catch on to it it's it actually helps you out a lot uh when trying to play the game uh anyway i'll stop rambling Hmm. I, I think it's worth give, uh, worth giving it a go if you haven't played it yet because it's free so what have you got to lose yeah I, I've just been incapable of uh, finding it on the uh, play store for my model so I don't think it's supported by Sony phones or maybe so it's, sad I don't know. yeah Sony phones are yeah. weird like that Sony don't seem to care about like vying for support for their phones that much yeah like you'll see um, Google will always pull out the Google card and be like, well, we own the, plane, the Play Store, <laughs> so if you don't support our phones, we're not putting it on. Um, uh, and um, what are they called? Uh, who do like the Galaxy? Samsung? Oh, yeah, yeah Samsung. Samsung will always pull out the old, well, we've got uh, one billion million users across the world, so you have to support our phones. Uh, but then you've got Sony just like, we made a phone. We made a phone too, guys. <laughs> Take a look. It's a good time. <laughs> so. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's a very important thing I need to consider when getting my next phone because yeah. I'm caught between either a Huawei or a Google Pixel. I would um, recommend the Pixel. Basically, from app support. Yeah. And, like, it obviously wins out mainly because of app support being, like, mandatory. Yeah, absolutely. And I would recommend it being a Google shill. Yeah. Um, but I would also recommend it because it's genuinely just a good device. Um, mm. But they will almost definitely be announcing a new Pixel this year because they they have it in their stupid heads over at Google that they need to compete with Apple, mm. which they don't. So they're trying to release a phone every year, but they don't have enough improvements to justify making a new phone, yet they do it anyway. Well, you know what that means. Go on. The Google Pixel 3 XL is just going to get cheaper with each year for me to get it second hand. That's true. That's true. And the Pixel 3 is amazing. I've got it uh, here. Mm. Actually, I've got a 2 and a 3 here. Virtually indistinguishable, except the 3 has a bigger yeah. screen. Yeah. Uh, well, Jess, the further I move it away from my face, it loses volume on me very quickly. It's true. I do have that. Um, so here's a, the next story I haven't heard many people talking about. So I wanted to mention it. Did you know that Netflix is making a Fast and Furious animated show? Oh. Hmm. With DreamWorks TV? Oh. Crossovers nobody asked for. DreamWorks and Fast and Furious and Netflix? <laughs> The advert's yeah. terrible. I've seen it before, and just watching it again, I hate it. It's like mm. epilepsy in a nutshell. It's horrible. Mm. I, I've never been into the fast, speedy car, big red, go quick. Genre. Yeah, I I like these sorts of films as mm. a, as a like maybe if you were drunk, you know, or maybe yeah. if you just have had a long day of work. You can sit down, mm. you can do something else while you're watching these movies, and you haven't missed anything because the story is totally inconsequential. All you need to know yeah. is Cargo Vroom, that's the story. Uh, hi, uh, hey, quick Sam. question. Did, yeah? uh, did, did, I see that someone named Tony Lamont had joined the uh, Discord. Was that that one radio voice guy who joined like the last time? Yeah. 
He Long joined save. back again? Yeah, he came back. I think, Flub, did you ban him this time? Yeah, I banned him. He was being oh, really yeah. rude. He was, a, he was being an absolute asshole. Yeah. Well, you know. Sometimes it be that way. I really do be like that sometimes. Ah. <sighs> Jesus. Like, what the fuck? No, I just I like, cause I was, you know, what I, I, I was, I've been out till now, and the first thing I saw, like, I went to just like ro scroll through my discords, and I saw someone had joined, and I saw Tony Lamont, and I'm like, isn't that that one radio voice bastard who came in last time and was kind of rude? Yeah, it was the same guy. It was the exact same guy, uh, yeah. and he pretty much said the exact same thing. Uh, yeah, including time, so including in saying that I don't have many viewers, despite having more than him, typically. Yeah. Or at least at the time, well, he know. might have more now, I don't know. Who knows? All I gotta say is, uh, all I gotta say to you, Griff, is, uh, fuck that guy, don't listen to him, you're doing your best and you're doing well. Thanks, Sam. I don't give a shit about that guy. Oh, yeah, yeah me neither. He legitimately is just... I don't know. That's that's just kind of a dick thing to do to come in and like, oh, you don't have oh, any viewers is. right now, even though you yeah. have like over a hundred followers. And that's a problem. It's like a dude. The, the worst part, the worst part is that's exactly the only thing that a stream revolves around. It's like yeah. trolling. I, I don't it's get not that. Trolling, it's just bullying. It is just straight up bullying. I I just uh, it's bizarre. I think it's because he he doesn't think of people online yeah. as as actual people. He just sees I them as a means kind of to like an jealousy, end. Like a sort of resent thing that he has because he's like, oh, look, I have every good radio voice. I'm going to go undermine these people and steal their followers. <laughs> yeah, I think um, maybe he saw someone else doing it and he was and like, hey, I can make a, I can make a, 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 a money hey, after uh, this. Look at me. I, I, bully, I bully people half my age online. I steal hey, their hey, hey. <laughs> Classic. Kirby Balls Lamont, amazing name. Oh god. He had to change his username, I wonder why. Yeah. I wonder why. Maybe his whole channel got shut down for violating terms and services. Could be that. Yeah, I hope so. Mm. Oh well. Moving on to our next story, because I, I genuinely don't think there's much more to say about Netflix's Fast and Furious animated show. Uh, anyway, Samu, how are you doing today? Oh, you know, just doing my, my best, doing the most wonderful I can. I uh, went out, did some, uh, you know, official like business type shit because uh, of the fact I just got a license. I'm my license, so I had to go on the insurance hmm. on the car I'm going to be driving. So, oh, insurance for the young man is just awful. That's probably costing you a pretty penny, isn't it? A little bit more than what it was before, but not much. Damn. Alright. Okay. That's fair enough. Are, they, uh, are the insurance prices uh, different in the US to the UK? Or... I doubt anyone knows that really, actually. Never mind. <laughs> oh well. Uh, well, at least you can drive now, though, right? Yeah. yeah. That's gonna be. You're gonna be getting all the. Yeah, it's always the something. Ladies, all the lady friends. Yeah, you can rock up. Mm. Be like, hey girl. You must be picking up a handsome lady every day now. Mm. In any case, our next story. Do you guys know about the banana splits? No, I don't think I've That, heard like, them. old show back in, like, the 1960s or 70s? Precisely. Why don't you fill me in on that? Now, it was an old show back in the 1960s or 70s. Where people dressed up in fursuits and pretended to be a band. I think that was pretty oh, much the... So proto-furryism. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Furry before furry was cool. Exactly. <laughs> so did you know that it's getting rebooted uh, as a horror movie? Oh. That's interesting, actually. Yeah, I think that's super interesting an idea. That sounds like some James Gunn shit. Yeah, because no one cares about Banana Splits at the end yeah. of the day. So I think the idea of rebooting something old like this as a horror movie, as it, yeah, Flub, you're right, it is some James Gunn shit. It's exactly who's something that be, James Gunn would do. Um, I I'd have to look it up. All I know is that it's it's sort of like a Five Nights at Freddy's esque 
yeah. kind of uh, glowing red eyes animatronics thing. Mm. Evil possessed costumes. Yeah. But the, oh. there is one problem though. It's made by sci fi uh, oh. with a really low oh, budget, boy. so it might be awful. But it also, if it does it ironically, if the whole story is kind of ironic, then it if could it's be a fun. Cool movie. Yeah, if exactly. Movie, then it'd be fun. Yeah. I also um, like how that thing says, "Have you ever played FNAF and thought, man, I really wish that had become like a live action movie sort of thing?" When uh, Scott Cawthon is working with Blumhouse to make that a live action yeah, movie thing, that's meant to come out this year, and we haven't heard anything about it, so I don't have high hopes the for FNAF that movie. Yeah. I don't think it's supposed to come out. This like Scott delayed it at one point. I don't know what's going on with it. But I know he's actually working on it, whether, like, he gives us updates or not. Like, I know that was a thing he was actually working towards yeah. and striving towards. And he, you know, works with Bloomhouse. If, if Bloomhouse is working with him on it, honest to God, it's going to be the best fucking horror movie I've seen. Because Bloomhouse Productions is good with what they do. Um, like, they made some good Blumhouse is very hit and miss. IMO. They have, when they're good, they're really good. But when they're bad, they're really bad. Like, stuff like Happy Death Day to You was kind of iffy. Get Out was a good one. I think they worked on the uh, Paranormal Activity movies, and those are really good. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they did do the Paranormal. I think that was their, their big break, Paranormal Activity. Um, I, I See, I was actually hoping that the Five Nights at Freddy's movie was going to at least be mentioned this year, uh, because then it would be at Halloween Horror Nights, because Blumhouse is always at Halloween Horror Nights at Universal Studios. Mm. Uh, and that would be amazing. Imagine, like, a horror maze based on Five Nights at Freddy's. Oh, I've had that, actually. There was, a <clears throat> like, a Dr. Screams. You know Dr. Screams at all? I, yeah, I, I know of it. over there, but... No, it, they don't have it over here. The but one that was it. in my area one year, uh, they did, like, a whole bunch of mix from different horror movies, like The Purge and all that. Yeah. FNAF was in there at one point. Like, we got uh, out of the, like, a really spooky part. And then, like, we ended up in, like, an office, and this guy who was supposed to be playing the security guard was like, all right, well, you see, we got these cameras here, and they're broken, so you got to follow me so we can go fix the cameras. Just don't look behind you, and don't question whatever you see. And as we're walking along, you know, there are all the animatronics. Like, they actually really, really well-made animatronic suits that people are in walking wow, around. Wow, that's pretty good. Like, looking around corners. Like, it was actually really cool. At one point, like... You know, like, say, don't turn around, and I shouldn't have turned around, because I turned around, and there was, like, a nightmare uh, chica behind me, you know, from that Oh, no, I yeah. And, that, and I'm like, I, like, I automatically turned back forward, and I just walked forward. I got in front of one of my friends. I'm like, not doing that. Nope, nope, nope. The back <laughs> and I'm like, not doing that anymore. They're like, what the fuck's the fuck? Oh. Oh, my around, God. Like, they're like, what the fuck's the Oh. And I kept walking. That's amazing. Like, it actually was spooky. Like, that, that yeah. was one of the spookiest parts of the whole thing. The only other spooky part was the purge part, which is the very last one. And, um, yeah. you know, the people have, like, the masks and shit. And we had to go through an area where, um, you know, there was a, quote, gunfight. So, you know, there were loud noises and flashes and shit. And you're trying to traverse through this area with a guard that's pushed you, like, bringing you forward. And, like, they have actors that come out. And you, you have to sign a waiver for a few of them. Because some of them get a little hands-on, so yeah. in case they accidentally hurt you, they are not liable because you signed a waiver. Yeah. <clears throat> and um, one of the creepiest ones is someone that, like, was on the floor behind a box, and there was like a couple. And this girl runs like this guy. The like the 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 girl's boyfriend is like super like scared at this point, like jumpy at everything. And, like, one of the actors grabs his girlfriend's leg. Oh, my God. And she screams. He he fucking <laughs> Oh, my God. <laughs> Classic. Bolted. What a gentleman. <laughs> like, she shook the... She, oh. like... She hey, Kat. Like, welcome very, to the... Very, very, welcome to the stream. It's good to see you. She just sort of shook her leg and kept going, like, as calmly as she could. And she got out there... Like, the guy, like... Good for her. Because there was, like, a guard like a guard person at the end. Like, yeah. Like, oh, come on, we gotta go. Is it one, uh, like, pointing us that way? Like, he fucking bolts past the guy who's leading us there and bolts past the guy who's holding open the door, and it's out. <laughs> oh, my God. And we get out there. He's across the fucking parking lot. That's incredible. <laughs> you, you've never seen anyone move so fast. I have never... 
Did, no, no, here's the funniest part. This guy is like six foot. He's he can't be six two because I'm six two at that point. Yeah. And like I'm still six two, but I like he's like six foot, he's just under me. And he's gotta weigh at least over like two twenty. Incredible. He's a chunky boy. And he looks like he doesn't move. And he managed fast. to make he it all the like way across not, the He fucking he moved at the speed of light. Like there was like <laughs> Amazing. Imagine imagine like um it's like uh it's like a twenty foot dash to the door. He cleared that in two seconds. That's amazing. That's how fast he fucking ran. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That sounds great. I hope I hope they do have five nights at Freddy's at the uh at the thing I'm going to. I, I hope it's as good as that. Do, like, I hope I hope they make the suits because those are really well made suits. I yeah, honest. I mean it wouldn't like be the that hard. Net. They're they're like, not they hard didn't suits. Do, like marionette because the marionette was like a stick figure sort of thing. Yeah. But they had like a really like like they had females do it because of like slender figures because you know the marionette isn't exactly a bulky animatronic. But yeah. they did their job really well because they stood in the shadows and like they'd peer out. And then, like, the light would just catch the mask. So you could see, like, a good portion of the mask where you know it's the marionette. And it just sort of, like, scares you for half a second. And it's just like, mm, I don't know about that to you. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I just looked it up, and the movie has been de indefinitely delayed, from what I can tell. Uh, yeah, but uh, he I was working with Blumhouse. Get, I wouldn't imagine it's going to get taken out of stasis, considering yeah. nobody really cares about map anymore no absolutely uh, bro, map I have you seen the game theory channel the here's, map here's my thing on it. i'm yeah. not into fnaf like you know just for i like i'm into fnaf for the story <clears throat> you know like not many people are like they just want to play the game they get spooked but the people who are actually in it for the story like like me i i read the books because i was really wow what was going that's on pretty because i was it's pretty hardcore cool. dedication i gotta say those books <laughs> whoo Good story there, and honestly... Are they really? Of, yeah, I heard they were well-written. I, I heard they, they were weren't well-written. Well they were well-written. I honestly, like, if I'm not... If my if my interest in the book has been met by at least, you know, a third of the way in, I'll drop the book. But I read all three books start to finish. Damn, that's pretty That's pretty high praise. <clears throat> yeah. Mm. But, like, I'm really interested in the story. And I don't get, like, I want to see that movie because knowing scott he's working on it there's going to be major story in that movie that everyone has to see yeah but absolutely. like what really pissed me off is like <clears throat> when it was first being made it was being made with warner brothers and you know they pumped out the angry birds movie but then like the reason that he stopped going with warner brothers because they were trying to make it more like family not family friendly per se but more like advertiser friendly sort of thing so they can make yeah. more money off of it and essentially Classic. But like that's why Scott dropped them and went to Bloomhouse because Bloomhouse knew, knows what they're fucking doing. Yeah, with. Bloomhouse will let anything fly. They know what they're doing. They just horror, released that movie Ma, didn't they? <laughs> yeah. That looked terrible. I'll be honest with you, that didn't look very good. <clears throat> it looked terrible. It was kind of interesting. Like yeah. I watched like half of it. It was kind of interesting, but it's not something that would pique the interest of everyone. Like no. some, for the people who like it, good on you. You liked it, good. Yeah, I I I didn't even bother with that one. It looked kind of silly. Uh, but I'm I'm kind of a cynic when it comes to movies. Um, I I I think they I hope they do make a Five Nights at Freddy's movie, and I hope they they show that these kinds of things can be made successfully into mm -hmm. movies, because when it comes to online stuff that gets turned into movies, it it just never no one ever puts in the effort. Look at Marble Hornets, <laughs> uh, look at Slender Man, look at um. Those being the primary examples, but I'm sure there are more out there. I remember uh, hearing um, ages ago about like potential like Valve uh, films being made. J.J. Like, Abrams, yeah, he was talking you about know, that, yeah. Abrams. yeah. I'm, I'm kind of half grateful and half a bit like bummed out that nothing came from that. Well, yeah, I, I think it's something that 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 was so reliant on the fact it was a game not necessarily for the story but for that action yeah because each half-life game was was very much in terms of visuals and gameplay based around yeah. the usp which was uh for the first game physics engines like really good ones yeah um and for the second game just what was the second I mean, game's it, usp it was on um, it was uh physics was it physics, yeah, physics engines again engine. Well, there you go. Um, the first one was, I think... Like, oh, 3D, 3D graphics. 3D graphics, 3D yeah. Graphics, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't 
I mixed him up. Mm. It'd be a major step down if the USP of the of the second game was free graphics. Yeah, it was studio graphics again. That'd yeah. Be well, I imagine. <laughs> Yeah, well, I mean, that's that's one of the reasons that everyone's saying yeah. that Half-Life 3 is going to be uh, on the Valve Index. Mm. I, mean, I mean, it's a, it's a bummer, but... What, what was that, Flub? It's a, it's a bummer that, like, um, obviously nothing came of it, but at the same time, I really dislike J.J. Abrams, especially due to, like, the yeah. recent reveal. Although, you know what? About. Let's be honest. <clears throat> if J.J. Abrams were to be connected to any franchise... The man who can never finish anything. Hmm. Half Life oh, would be yeah, the one. True. Well, yeah, but I wouldn't want him to make it any worse. Ah, oh, that's Which, true. Uh, that's true. Oh, he did Star that. Trek, all right. Yeah, but I haven't seen Star Trek. That's a thing. Uh, I don't want to watch any of his stuff. I see. I used to be a really big star. I used to like Star Trek more than Star Wars. Oh. Um, tricky. until the uh, until the Force Awakens came out, and then that sold me on Star Wars. Okay. Anyway, uh, so yeah, I used to love JJ, but now uh, I, don't, I think a lot of a lot of a lot of goodwill towards JJ has been lost. Anyway, yeah. moving moving on to our next story, you guys heard about Scooby Doo and guess who? Oh. Yeah, it's super weird. It's a Sco- new Scooby Doo show coming out, where every single episode will be based around a celebrity, yeah. real or fictional. Who is going to be in the episode? A major character in the episode. I, I like the return to the more original art style. Yeah, and even the anim- yeah. the movement and animation is very uh, reminiscent of the original stuff. I, I find the animation more reminiscent of what's new Scooby Doo in this. But um, yeah, definitely the character design is far more similar to the classic sixties mm. sort of cartoon. Definitely, especially the uh, the sort of uh, on, on the not quite opaque outlines. Yeah. Um. Yeah. yeah. Examples of people who are going to be in it: Wonder Woman, Ricky Gervais, <laughs> uh, Ricky Gervais, yeah, Sherlock Holmes. Like yeah, I don't know. He's just acting himself. Weird Al Yankovic, Keenan Thompson, Sia, uh, NBA star Chris Paul, Steve Urkel. Uh, <laughs> not not Jaleel White, Steve Urkel. <laughs> the character. Uh, and Batman, which is weird because there was already Scooby Doo and Batman. That's, that's just extremely weird, especially the Ricky Gervais thing, because, like, why would Ricky Gervais be in a, a children's show as himself? Yeah, I, I don't get that. It's, uh, kids aren't going to know who Ricky Gervais is. <laughs> oh, except, yeah, he was in Spy Kids. He was in Spy Kids 4D. It's, it's not oh, was he? Oh, no, he, he acted a character in that, though. Yes, he acted. Yeah, he acted a character. Huh? It doesn't count if he acts a character. I mean, it's got to be for kids. It's going to be on Boomerang. It's to attract an adult audience. I guess. What's happening with Boomerang at the moment? Because I remember it used to be, like, the go-to cartoon channel for, like, classic cartoons. Yeah. Then it became, like, all girly and, like, live action Well, they've actually done something really soccer. cool recently. Um, instead of just showing old cartoons, they're rebooting a bunch of old cartoons. Oh. with But, but the, the reboots they're making are really like uh uh honest to the originals like yeah. uh i was just oh. watching boomerang today uh they did a reboot of looney tunes which mm-hmm. is artistically in the style of the original and in terms of the writing tries to stick really true uh to the original show which is really mm-hmm. admirable on their part whether or not it works is yeah. still up for some debate yeah but I mean, um, I mean, it looks promising like really promising from what we see here yeah, absolutely. Um, I mean, I'll probably, I probably check it out because hopefully they'll redo uh, Wacky Races as well. Because I was a fan. Hopefully, I hope so. Mm. Uh, one thing that does annoy me though is in this clip of Batman, uh, the the bat symbol on Batman's chest goes all wibbly, and it really freaks me out, and I don't like it. <laughs> anyway, our next story is Halloween Two. I really like the Halloween movie from last year. Uh, it's been confirmed that they're going to be shooting uh, a sequel to it, which doesn't make much sense, although I oh, guess it kind of so. does. Because, uh, of so course, funny. yeah, well, of course, Michael Myers died because he dies in every single one. But he's back, of course. Of course. Just like 
in everything else. Jess, what do you think about that? Because you liked Halloween, didn't you? Okay. Yeah. I'd say Nick is a little. Yeah? Yeah. Oof, the bold. Was pretty great in the first one. I think they can probably do it justice. I hope they can, because I really liked the first one. <laughs> well, I said the first one. The, uh, the reboot. The first reboot. No, not the first old. reboot. It's the second reboot, but it's the first one in the second reboot. Well, that's going to get confusing. Yeah, it's very confusing. <laughs> I was gonna say, um, I really want all of the um big horror movie directors to just get together and like have like some mashup of all like the horror villains just fighting each other. I mean, they tried it something something similar in Freddy vs. Jason, and it's debatable oh, yeah, as to whether that succeeded. Mm-hmm. That's like monster, uh, sorry, monsters vs. aliens. I mean, uh, alien vs. predator. It is. So like, and that was pretty shit. If so who would like you who would you want up. in a movie with uh, all sorts of people fighting? Who would you want? Well, you're gonna have like the 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 basics, like obviously Freddy and Jason need to make a cameo. Yeah. Uh, you're gonna get uh, the face from uh, Texas Chainsaw. Brilliant. I'd say Ash Williams as well, so you can get some. Hey, soy boy, it. welcome here. Yes, uh, Ash Williams. Yeah. Um, obviously Michael Myers as well, and. Uh, Maybe some like lesser known ones from like uh, you know like lesser known horror films from back in that sort of era. Like who? Like uh, you could do something maybe with um, uh, like the people from the hills have eyes. You could like. Fit oh them yeah, them. yeah. Maybe you could get Hannibal Lecter in it. Sounds like a cameo appearance. Yeah, well. but he's got to be Anthony Hopkins, right? Yeah, it's going to be Am I missing all your streams and I've been gone a while? Soy boy, I have been gone for oh, pretty much a full week, I'm afraid, uh, which is very sad. But I'm back now. I'm back, hopefully, for at least a little while. It's a busy time. My computer crashed. It's going to take a bit, but eventually I'll disappear from the call. Uh-oh, Samu's dead. Don't worry, Samu. Good luck. Rest in peace. Uh, I'm really looking forward to the Halloween sequel. I, I hope it'll be really great. Um, I still haven't seen the reboot, actually. Not I, I would. It, if you like the original, it's a really... It's the best possible sequel to the original Halloween it's movie. So good. Mm. Like, it's one of my favorite films of the year. Mm, definitely. Movie. Yeah. Being a big horror fan, I would say... Fan, well, there you go. Is, that is one of my favorites. I don't know if you can hear, Jess. Mm, just about. All right. Uh, speaking of sequels, it's been confirmed that Spider-Verse is getting a sequel, as if it needed to be confirmed, Spider-Verse yeah, is getting a sequel, yeah. It's, like, due about five sequels, so might as well, like, keep yeah. working until, like, 25. They, they've confirmed at least two sequels to this film. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the one, the all-female one, and then another one that's got Miles Morales in it. Good. Yeah. Um... Next wa- next up, uh, Stranger Things 3 comes out. When does it come out, Jess? Mm-hmm. Next Tuesday? Uh, no, Spider-Man. Next weekend. Is it next weekend, Stranger Things comes out? Next Thursday. Next Thursday. Stranger Things 3 comes out next Thursday. I like Stranger Things. I hope it's going to be good. The second season wasn't as good as the first, so I'm hoping this one's going to pick up some of the slack. You uh, you watch Stranger Things, Flub? Um, yeah, it's a bit embarrassing, but no, I don't. I I tend to avoid things out like a load of hype around them. That's like, fair enough. With the exception of a few obvious things, yeah, like uh, the MCU and stuff. But yeah, it, like I, um, there's a lot of stuff I need to uh, check out because of that sort of mentality that like stopped me from viewing these things. Yeah. And Stranger Things is maybe one of them. I'm not particularly interested in. The, definitely watch yeah. Stranger Things season one it's not like mind blowing it's not like the best thing ever made but it's a it's a yeah. good bit of fun it's a fun little show got some nice horror elements got some I nice friendships all the actors have really good chemistry mm-hmm. um, there's some nice action in there really high production values uh, it's definitely one of the best original shows from Netflix well, I'm definitely due to um, pick up a new series on Netflix anyway. But I was debating maybe getting into another one because, um, you know, uh, Neon uh, Genesis Evangelion that yeah. recently came onto Netflix. So yeah. I was thinking, maybe, maybe I'll get did, you, anyway. did you hear that uh, they well. took out the gay relationship in that one? 
Did they? Yeah, Netflix what? censored the gay relationship despite it being a core part of the story for a po- proportion of the show. Do they want to <laughs> on an age rating? What were they doing? I don't know. I, they, they also removed yeah i think it was the age rating but i they also removed a lot of the the violence and the the more harrowing elements visually of the show no well, that's just stupid i mean like homosexual relationships aren't any different to straight relationships no it definitely people. shouldn't be something They're that should be censored no absolutely it should not be sending it affects an age rating it's june god damn it very dumb netflix very sad let me let me look this up let me let me fact check myself uh netflix evangelion censorship let me look up uh gay <laughs> Just find senses the game. Uh, you know what? Just take my word for it and don't question me. I'll take your word for it. <laughs> I haven't actually watched the Netflix version because I've seen, seen the show before. Uh, but I've been yeah. told that they take out the gay relationship. That's just, that's just annoying. Yeah, it is. Uh, next story. Bethesda and Nintendo have been talking about Smash Brothers. They've been talking about Smash Brothers together. I wonder. Pete Hines says so. Mm. Although Pete Hines does talk a lot of shit. Yeah. You know who else talks a lot of shit? Todd Howard. Oh yeah, but that's his that's his USP. <laughs> that's his whole character. <laughs> it's a bit of a running gag in it is. Honest. P- at least when Todd talks shit, it's kind of fun. But when Pete yeah, Hines talks shit, talk it's just shit, mean. It's hopeful. When Pete yeah. Hines talks shit, you know, he's, he's going to kill something off. Like, exactly. Some kind of franchise um yeah so they've been talking about it doesn't mean anything's going to come of it i doubt anything's going to come of it it's not they're not going to put doom slayer in fucking smash it's not going to happen they should, they, though, but they, should. they should but what's his move set going to be what's what what are his moves going to be jess what's the everything what the shout doom the is magic, full the glory enchantments on the stats you know, they wouldn't do the Doom. That, that, that yeah. is true. The that is true because um, that would work. Okay, that Skyrim go. Would work very well for Smash Bros. When you want to push people off the side of the platform, it would. And magic could work as well. Maybe you could have like some yeah. sword. Just have him be a sword fighter. Are, are you implying magic was actually good in Skyrim? Huh. True. Um, they're not gonna have Doom Slayer though, because it's too violent. The whole core of Doom Slayer's character is violence, and just they, they just. Well, then what's the point? <laughs> it would be like a very very they couldn't have meta. they couldn't have wolfenstein either uh, bj blaskowitz it's gonna be the yeah. i can Why see it and for the different skins they could have the different races yeah, yeah. okay fine fuck you they just put doom into thumbnail because side Side story, UK porn block delayed six months because the, the UK government forgot to tell the EU. <laughs> um, you know, they're, they're forgetting to do a lot of things with the mm. EU. Oh, they certainly are. Uh, <laughs> our next story, so you, you may have heard uh, that Cadence... Is that what it's called? Cadence of Hyrule? Cadence of Hyrule came out recently. A crossover between Crypt of the Necrodancer and Zelda. Mm. So the developers of Cuphead decided to throw their hat in the ring. They made some nice concept art. They want to make a Zelda game. I think that'd be great. Uh A sprawling Zelda title brought to life in doting 2D hand-animated style. Think of all the expressiveness in life you could bring to the tribes, people, and enemies of a universe that rich. And much like Cuphead, we would get to test our design metal, uh, coming up with screen-filling bosses of an entirely different nature. Um, I think that could be a lot of fun. What do you think about that, Jess? I think it'd be great. Yeah, yeah. sounds good. <laughs> this next story is for Jess. Jess, you can read it. Yeah, Neo Era Automata 2 officially in development. Well, according to an insider in development, which is nice. Very nice to know. Hopefully- yeah, Jess is very oh, yeah. exciting. <laughs> 
Next story. Disney has censored Star Wars uh, F- Jedi Fallen Order. Originally, there was going to be this whole system where you could, using your lightsaber, cut off people's limbs and heads and stuff. Disney were like, no, that's too violent. Take it out. Uh-huh. So they had to take it out. No, heads are like a my video game. Uh-huh. No, sorry. So uh, our next story is one that I've been debating whether or not I should mention, but I am going to briefly mention it just because it is worth mentioning, I think. Um, mm-hmm. Etika. Oh, yeah. Uh, obviously, absolutely tragic. Yeah, the, the 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 fact that some people think it appropriate to make jokes about it, disgusting. Mm. Uh, but I just wanted to talk about it right here because, once again, everyone's saying, well, no one saw this coming, which we didn't. We didn't. Obviously, we saw that he was going a bit wild the past few months. But no, no, one, no one saw anything this extreme coming. Uh, mm. But once again, people are talking about mental health. But no one ever actually does anything about it. Mental health yeah. with with, because because of YouTube and social media, becoming a quote unquote celebrity is so quick and easy these days. Yeah. Uh, so many people have it thrust upon them. That it, and it can be really harrowing for people who aren't mentally prepared for that. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think it's just really sad that these things happen. But I I think a lot of people. A lot of people, the, the thing I wanted, the reason I wanted to bring it up is because I want to point out that I think a lot of people make empty, empty remarks about mental health yeah. when these things happen. They say we need to, oh, well, you know, why, why aren't we more aware of mental health? Well, why, why don't these people, why don't you do something about it? Why don't you yeah. make some sort of, some something to raise awareness for mental health? Exactly. It, especially especially online where you don't see people face to face you don't see people in their everyday lives you can't see the warning signs how many times does someone have to kill themselves before something like that actually goes into effect it's really annoying yeah and on, on top of that can i can i just vent a bit because um my my friend and he like showed me some proof of this i, I can't really find it right now though but like apparently in Etika's case um it was also Twitch chats doing that, like, they sort of egged him on in, in terms of, like, uh, descending further and further into that, like, sort of, like, mentally, sort of... Dark. I, I don't know how to say it. Yeah, me- that mentally dark patch, which yeah. caused him to take his own life. And, like... I didn't know anything about just, that. Like, it's just further evidence and like, Twitch chat was terrible most of the time, and, like, they need to start, stop being, like, so hive-minded and... Terrible, I, I, I think it I think it's uh, online communities in general tend yeah. to band together with Definitely. each other instead of with the creator um, and it, it's yeah. often very uh, unhealthy I think it's hard as well because people are trying to like it's, it's like a popularity contest and people are trying well, to like win the attention yeah. I mean let's, 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 let's not be too is. harsh How about it that yeah, but it's it's understandable. It's it is understandable because you you're in a group of people. You want to make friends. You want to seem like one of the one of the gang. Yeah. Mm. So maybe it, I can understand how you might not see the harm you're doing because, as I said, with the uh, with the example of what was his fucking name, Tony Lamont or something. Yeah. He doesn't see the people he talks to on his show as real people exactly. he he sees and he deludes himself he tells himself that he's trying to help he's trying to give tips yeah and and i imagine the people in Etika's chat did something similar oh it's just a joke it's yeah. just a joke exactly. there's no way to know what effect that your words have on someone um entirely it's just really annoying because like every time i go on anyone's stream why would i like it's mostly when they're like large, like yeah. large streamer, not when they're like small with a few hundred to maybe ten average viewers, but like yeah. as soon as you get a large community, they sort of like, they, I'm not sure what the term is in psychology for it, but it's like um, where a large group sort of loses its identity and they have no problem with like saying really depraved or rude or cruel stuff. Yeah. And that just causes like the situation to become even worse. Yeah, absolutely. 
Absolutely. It's really because it's just annoying. Like, the stuff that they're saying most of the time, and it's not going to be red. It's not going to, like, um, be the thing that makes the streamer laugh and want to be your friend. It's yeah. going to be something that they're going to read while they're trying to focus on their stream, and they're going to have a toll on their mental health yeah. after they read the stream. Yeah, I, I just don't understand it. And and uh, as, uh, this goes back, I'm just going to take it back to what I was saying earlier. I mean, us talking about it, this doesn't do anything to help the issue. And I don't know what yeah. we could do to help the issue. People are awful. People yeah. are awful. but And there's no way to really solve that. Yeah. I wish I wish I could come up with some magic solution to that problem. Yeah. But for it's now... Really, it's a really difficult one. There, there are ways to get help for mental health issues and you need to be aware not not audiences not people in twi people's twitch chats people just look around at the people in your life your yeah. friends and your family and if you start to see mm -hmm. any of the warning signs that there may be any problems with them uh with the way they see themselves with the way they see the world you need to try and reach out to them at least yeah. try all you can offer is yourself and exactly situation and offer to, offer to help them and you need to be aware themselves. because yeah. anyone can fall victim to this no one saw this coming from medica anyone can be a victim of this and it's so it's so well hidden sometimes mm. it's it's really tough it's I've really said tough. It before and I'll say it again, but like mental health should be a subject that's mandatorily taught in primary school, maybe oh, yeah. in, even yeah. in secondary school as well. I'd say secondary school. No, I, I I think it should be taught from a young age and to like a older age as well, yeah. because it's very important to like shape people's minds so that they're considerate of like mental health disorders and other sort of like mental issues and stuff that people might be facing, because they need yeah. to be aware of it as they're growing up. Absolutely, I, I think it is important to raise awareness. But just just because I don't want to try and seem like I'm I'm trying to make content out of uh, this tragic event, I'm going to move yeah, on. That's fair enough. Um, yeah, I didn't want to linger maybe, too maybe long we'll on this. Continue talking thing. about this after dark. Yeah, yeah, let's definitely continue talking about it after Can dark. Say one thing. Like, I think a lot of people in the internet culture, like, yeah, people make edgy ass jokes, right? But yeah. it, you, you have to be very aware. And this has happened to me for several times. I was, like, really depressed when I was like, talking about these things, even though I was on, like, crazy hormone and stuff. So I was literally, like, on the verge of, like, you know, something drastic yeah. happening all the time. And so I'd say stuff in terms. I'd say, like, what the hell what can I do? And people would just, like, take it as jokes and shit. Um, mm. You've really got to look into what people are saying, because people might be, like, you know, doing an edgy-ass joke, but it's always important to say, like, you know, is this real? Yeah. Are you okay? Because yeah, just shoot them a DM. Yeah, but now I do I do want to move on yeah. because you know I don't want to don't want to take advantage too much. Uh, our next story is one that again no one is fucking talking about when they should be. Lego Bionicles being remastered. Oh. The game, the video game. Wow! Wow! I some of these Bionicles. It, I'm not comparing them, Jess. <laughs> Point is, for some reason, people care enough about Bionicle for this to be a thing. Okay. Why, oh, Jess? God, it's, it's like 2008 all over again. It is. Anyway, I'm pretty sure we can be sure that no one cares about Bionicle in the year of our Lord 2019. So Kim Kardashian just tried to, tried to trademark the word kimono. Oh yeah, which is hilarious. Mm. I I despise her. Oh yeah, Genuinely. she's the worst. She is the worst. She's just so business minded. Yeah, it's awful. <sighs> and uh, also, I want to point out that the the hashtag that was used to raise awareness for this being awful uh, was Kim Oh No. And I think that's that's a top that's pun. Genius. It that is. It is a stroke of genius. Um, yeah. 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 Uh, this one you'll like, Flub. 
Black Mesa Zen. What? I put that in the Griff Show. I know. That's before. that's that's why I'm bringing it up. Yes, it's only overdue by about a quarter of a year since their last promise. Oh, that's which not is an improvement because yeah. like before it was like two years overdue. Yeah, but it looks it looks really good. I haven't had a chance amazing. to download it and try it yet. But the the footage looks really amazing. I'm not sure whether to um to try it in the beta or if I should uh, leave it until it's finalized. And yeah, that's inserted into the game. That's I the same like thing I've been way. thinking. Yeah, because what I want to do is I really want to like experience it, like the full experience. Yeah. When it's finished. But yeah, that's just me. I I I. So oof. many cool things to it as well, like improvements upon the original game. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. It looks so good. I mean, all of the footage they've shown looks amazing. It looks almost like, almost like um, some of the hell segments from from yeah. the, from Doom. Yeah. Like, um, when I, like when I saw the um, the entrance sort of like cutscene, like I was thinking, mm, that, that's Doom Three right there. Yeah, exactly. But, like, exactly. The rest of the level is more sort of like Doom Eternal, really. Yeah. And they've definitely drawn inspiration from that series absolutely i mean it's 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 clear all over the place but there's nothing wrong with that uh yeah, it's, it's a fantastic thing to gameplay. take absolutely ah oh, i can't i i think that's definitely something to keep your eye on uh first yeah. trailer's been released for teen titans go versus teen titans confusing oh. title but uh <laughs> personally i hope they really go out of their way to mix the animation styles instead of just having everything move like Teen Titans Go with mm -hmm. just rigged versions of assets from the original Teen Titans. Because uh, yeah. that would suck. Point is, let's move on. Um, so, small story. There's a whole power-up that Nintendo didn't announce for Super Mario Maker. Uh -huh. Yeah. The Mario Maker comes out tomorrow. There's a whole power-up that they just straight up... Like a, a new power-up that's never been in a Mario, Mario game before, strictly speaking. Oh, that's uh, a surprise. For yeah, it players. is. Uh, apparently, you only get it after beating the final boss, which may be why they didn't mention it. But apparently, there are also ways to get it. <clears throat> that are just a bit harder without beating the final boss. Um, right. What it is, it's, it's, it's the hammer from the original Mario games that you used to kill Bowser. Yeah. If, oh. you, if you will recall. Um, this one, this next one's uh, relevant to us British boys. So you may or may not know about London Paramount Resort, or what used to be known as the London Paramount Resort, a plot of land that was originally going to be a Paramount-themed theme park. Mm -hmm. A few years ago... Jess, can you go and get me another Pepsi? My throat's really dying. <laughs> hey, can you Jess, get me a drink me of some Pepsi. kind? All I wanted was okay. a Pepsi. Just one Pepsi. And she wouldn't give it to me. <laughs> so, a few years ago, Paramount pulled out of the park... Uh, oh, yeah. Just straight up pulled out of the deal because they couldn't. The park and Paramount couldn't agree on how they their their IPs would be represented in the park. Oh no! Well, uh, obviously Jimmy Neutron Boy Genius Land. Obviously, if, I, if they could just remake the like uh, theme park from the Jimmy Neutron Boy Genius film, that would be brilliant, idea. perfect, perfect. Um, <laughs> so so they pulled out a while ago. So the park has since made uh, arrangements with uh, BBC, ITV, Ardman. And after, yeah, Paramount saw these, these, um, these things and they were like, hey, that's pretty good. So they came back. Paramount has officially agreed to have their stuff in it. Things like Mission Impossible. Why, why, uh, would they, why would they let them come back? Just make a BBC land or Ardman land. I'd yeah, but they can they can have more stuff. Sets. I'd rather have more variety. I, I would rather just have like a full human-sized Wallace and Gromit set made out of like plasticine or some shit. Yeah. God, so but it would melt. Amazing. It would I'm not melt. Land, it would <laughs> melt. It's plasticine. It wouldn't melt. They, they could do the chemical stuff to stop that. They could just make it look like plasticine. 
Yeah, that can make them need something. What if they just had a giant block of plasticine and they just let the the, the guests do whatever they want with it? Oh, no, no. They, they shouldn't even do any of that. They should just, like, uh, demolish, like, the Houses of Parliament and replace them with, like, a 300-foot-high plasticine statue of Wallace. Brilliant. It's just like a, it's like an ode to the deceased actor. Rest in peace. And every time anyone touches it, it's, it booms out across the whole of London. Cheese, grommet! <laughs> Not even across London, just across the entirety of Europe. Yes. It's like, a, it's like one of those super volcanoes. <laughs> Anyone within a 300 mile radius dies just, instantly. just deafened. Yeah. No, the, the vibrations kill them. The last thing you hear before you die. Cheese, Grommet. Cheese, Grommet. No crackers, Grommet. Oh, Cheese God. The the crackers. So Paramount have agreed to allow Mission Impossible, um, Star Trek... And the Italian job, amongst other things that they haven't the mentioned Italian in the job. book. Okay, Italian job's a bit odd. Italian job does seem a bit out of place. Like, Mission yeah. Impossible, okay, they're still making Mission Impossible movies. Star Trek, that's pretty much always relevant. Star, Trek. Star Trek's S- gonna attract so many nerds. Yeah. Italian job? Yeah. It's, it's, it's very out of place. Film. It's a very old film. Isn't it? Yeah, it is. Oh, yeah, yeah, but like, it's the only classic on the list. Yeah. Makes the mission mission impossible, which is obviously not as good. No, absolutely. I I, I do like the Mission Impossible films, but uh, a, yeah. the Italian jobs, uh, lightning in a bottle, isn't it? Yeah. Um. But, uh, so so no Jimmy Neutron. Not- unless it well there there are those are just the ones they gave as examples of things that they've allowed into the park. So there could be Jimmy Neutron, who knows? But that is still Nickelodeon, which uh, and Nickelodeon is still mostly owned. The theme park rights I know are owned by Universal Studios still. Yeah, and they haven't made anything um, Jimmy Neutron related in no, years. Have they? they have not. That IP. Definitely. Uh, very sad. But <laughs> I I think it's this it's whole park. Very... I don't. I don't. Very honest when you said very sad I think there. Jimmy Jimmy Neutron's had its time in a theme park. There was a, there was a Jimmy <laughs> Neutron ride at Universal Studios. It's gone. It's dead. Was that? Yeah, of course it was. Yeah. Okay, I need to build a time machine. Be right yeah. Back. Uh, well, you know what? How about you go on the Back to the Future ride? Oh wait, that's gone too. <laughs> oh no. Uh, that was uh, replaced with the Simpsons ride. Oh, you know, that's obviously better. Oh, obviously. Anyway, I think this park sounds amazing. BBC stuff, ITV stuff, uh, Paramount stuff, Ardman stuff. That's a good list of stuff right there. Unless, unless they just go with ITV's garbage shows. (laughs) They put, like, Gogglebox land. Come, Come to the Love Island experience. If they make they will. Land, I think that's going to be very like concerning to just it'll be, be, it'll be like it'll be like Big Brother. Area. God, <laughs> I think th- if there there will almost definitely be something to do with Love Island just because it's so yeah. popular. Yeah. I hate that. Hopefully, it won't take up too much of the park. We we could return to a whole discussion about men's heart and suicide just because of Love Island. We could, we could. Mm. Do you remember when a man committed suicide and the Jeremy Kyle show got cancelled? But Love Island's have led to multiple suicides of people who have been on the show, yeah. and the show's still on air. Remember that? Yeah. Really? Is that true? Yep. That's awesome. And the fact, um, what's his face, Ian, the guy that used to like uh, be the host of CBBC, yeah. Yeah. is still like endorsing it by being on it. That's just disgusting. Yeah. Absolutely, it absolutely is. I don't get it. I guess he's just in it for the money. He must be. Yeah, definitely. Hmm. Well, well what hacker would think about it. Oh god. <laughs> well, any in any case, that actually was our last story for the day, bringing our show to a concise end. Hell yeah. Uh, but don't worry, because the magic goes on. <laughs> the magic goes on in oh, Griff no. After Dark, yeah, yeah. which will be happening immediately after the show. Um. <sighs> Ooh. Oh, apparently Scurvy Balls Lamont has been timed out for one second. That wasn't me. That wasn't me. He's not even here. Anyway, yeah. point is, I'll see everyone on a flippity flop. Thanks for coming to the show. 
Uh, normal streams. Normal stream schedule returning very soon. Jesus. I've been gone for too long. Bye-bye, everyone. Yeah, right. Bye-bye.